My name is Hallie Lineber, my human name, and my drag persona is Dead Nettle. I'm a multidisciplinary artist, but I really like opportunities that come along where I get to meld multiple creative interests of mine. But I'm always interested in doing things that are bright and colorful, whimsical, and escape from reality. I painted the piano that's at the donut hole. That was just a private commission, but a lot of people who've gone in there probably have noticed it. I also painted the rooster mural that's on that fence behind the donut hole. I've done a lot of other murals around town. At WSU was kind of a big project I did a few years ago where I, I did a series of electrical boxes there. I've done a lot of things with Wham through the years. I've always been involved with Harvester Arts. So I think initially when I was approached about this, I was just kind of given free reign of whatever imagery I wanted to put. So there's unicorns and dragons and then some more obscure creatures like the dog snail and like the cat flowers and stuff, which is just things that I just happened to come across when I was looking up medieval marginalia that kind of jumped out to me as being kind of cute and weird. <laughs> when I was approached about this, I was a little nervous about it because with the open invitation, there were people who said that they had never painted before or they hadn't painted since high school and they were a little bit nervous. And I like having creative control of things, but they walked away with a smile on their face. And my favorite part actually has truly been like the community open hours when people were coming in and it was kind of just open to whoever wanted to jump in and, and help paint. Everyone's been so great and positive and eager to help. A lot of people who seem to genuinely like doing it, who keep like have come back multiple times to help. And I, it sounds obvious to say this, but it actually has been a help to me. I usually am doing a project all by myself and it's just hours and hours and hours of putting coats of paint and stuff. So having people come in and having six or seven people working on it at one time and like looking around and everyone's you know, focused on one particular area has been really cool and really helpful and just fun. I like to dress and drag out in public doing things, especially like when we had the community and people could come interact and help paint the piano. I, I dressed up for that because when people hear drag, they have a specific character in mind and not everyone understands the artistry that goes into it. And I do consider myself a drag artist. So I like to kind of bring other art forms in with my drag and like kind of present it all together so people can maybe see it in sort of a different light. I am also a, a national title holder for Alternative Drag Pageant 2023. So I'm a little bit on the creepy side sometimes, but I keep it sort of lighthearted like for events like this because I like to be child friendly. So I just want people to come up and see something bright and colorful that catches their eye. And then as they get to looking at it, they realize there's lots of little creatures to spot and lots of little details to take in. So I think that's probably pretty much it. I just want it to be like fun, colorful, enjoyable thing to look at. <laughs>